So after a week or two of hard work, I finally got the steam controller to work like a mouse. But how well does it stand up to the test when the game is designed for a traditional gamepad? Hi, I'm Rhythm Man, and today I'm going to talk about the steam controller for Tomb Raider. So I did a few videos on the steam controller, and if you haven't been able to tell, I like it a lot. And I'm really considering using it over my mouse and keyboard. I've actually gone back to my mouse and keyboard, and even though it still felt a little more natural, I couldn't help but shake the feeling that I kind of enjoyed the controller a little more. It was more comfortable and just as accurate. It felt just a little weird at first. And even though the Steam Controller has more buttons than a traditional gamepad, there are still a lot of functions and keys for games that were designed for keyboard and mouse, like Warframe. So the Steam Controller is close, but doesn't necessarily exceed mouse and keyboard. I still think it's good to use. Tomb Raider, on the other hand, just released for PC. And having downloaded the game, I've thought to myself, how would this work? Tomb Raider was designed for gamepads, because it came out on on console first. But the PC version lets you use a mouse and keyboard. Even though my aim increases when I use a mouse and keyboard with games like this in the past, I usually end up using a gamepad because overall the platforming and the moving around and adventuring was better with the gamepad. And it was more comfortable. And because the game was originally designed for gamepad, the enemy bots are usually a little slower and less responsive in the game. So the gamepad is usually good enough. But how does the Steam Controller, with its wonky placement of a trackpad and this really weird directional pad, work for a game like this? There are two ways to go about setting up the Steam Controller for a game like this. One way is to have the Steam Controller configured so that it outputs keyboard and mouse controls. This is undoubtedly going to give you the same level of accuracy you can expect from a keyboard and mouse, but you're going to miss out on the great features that an analog stick have in these kinds of games. You would have to find some way to tell the controller to hold the walk button when the stick is at a certain level, and then release it when it reaches past that level. It's doable, but it's, it's a lot of configuration and it's really easy to screw up if you don't know what you're doing. I think the better option is to have the gamepad work just like a normal gamepad and output the same input a normal gamepad would, but instead of a normal right analog stick, use a mouse-like joystick. In fact, this is the recommended configuration on Steam. Mouse-like joystick causes the controller to send out joystick input, but adjusts it to match as close as possible what you would expect from a mouse input. In games like Warframe, which is designed for mouse, it stutters and it's, ter it's, it's just pretty terrible. But for Tomb Raider, and I suspect other AAA titles, it works surprisingly well. It feels way more comfortable than a regular joystick, and it aims better too. I took it a step further and enabled the gyroscopic sensors to output a mouse-like joystick too. It's still slower than a mouse and keyboard, but that's because joystick sensitivity is limited in nature. And if you want faster aiming, you're going to have to turn up the sensitivity in game, if that's an option in your game. What do you think about the mouse-like joystick? What games does it work for, and what games does it not work for? Leave a comment, and like and subscribe. Stay cool.